Five ministers have been dropped and seven new ministers have been inducted in the new Punjab cabinet. But there is revolt within the Congress over the new inductions in the cabinet. Now, if you, these are the live visuals that we are getting from uh, Punjab, from Chandigarh, in fact, of the new ministers taking oath. And just to give our viewers a sense of who's taken oath uh, in a, a short while back, it was Razia Sultana, Vijayendra Singla, Bharat Bhushan, who have been inducted in the new cabinet of the Punjab government. And there are certain ministers who are believed to be captain loyalists who have been dropped from uh, the cabinet. Amandeep is joining us live to give us more details about the revolt that is brewing in the Punjab Congress over the expansion of the cabinet. Amandeep, if you could give us, uh, if you could give us a sense of the ministers who've been dropped from the Punjab cabinet. If you can tell us uh, the names of the ministers who've been dropped and if they were close, if and whether be they're being dropped from the cabinet only and only because they were close to Captain Amrinder Singh. Well, exactly, Saniga. All five ministers who were dropped from the cabinet uh, list, uh, from in fact, Chinese cabinet list, was were the loyalists of Captain Amrinder Singh. And in fact, two held the press conference. Balvi Singh Sidhu was former health minister and former revenue minister Gurpreet Singh Kangar. They both held press conference and in fact raised questions over the high command. At least they could have revealed what went wrong with the working of those cabinet ministers. Even health minister performed outstanding in the COVID situation when he he handled the Punjab in a very smooth manner and even the second minister Gurpreet Singh Kangar who handled the revenue in a very well manner. In fact, no discussions has been held before reducing their name from the cabinet list. They have uh, they have certain regrets and even they have also write a letter to high command while mentioning that kindly reveal the reason what happened and what went wrong with them that the reason behind they have reduced from the list of cabinet and in fact three other ministers one is former uh, sports minister Rana Gurmeet Sodi, a close as of Captain Amrinder Singh, Sadhu Singh Dharam Soth, he's a former cabinet minister, he's also a close uh, associate of Captain Amrinder Singh and former industry minister Shyam Sundar Arora, he was also dropped and close associate of Captain Amrinder Singh and they all held a meeting before Captain resigns as a chief minister of Punjab, they held a meeting at the residence of Captain Amrinder Singh, held a very long discussion and even after that also they held several round of meetings with Captain Amrinder Singh. So that is the reason. In fact, Sanika, the most important point is that uh, Congress party is not distributing the cabinet ministry according to the capability of the MLAs. They are just picking up those who are the loyalists of Sidhu as Chenni and in fact they wanted to create a strong team for the Chenni without seeking the uh, on the merit basis. And even just uh, just before Razia Sultana, uh, Rana Gurjeet Singh has taken the oath as a cabinet minister and in fact he is a tainted person. Six MLAs right against Rana Gurjeet just because he was involved into a sand mining scam in 2018 in January and even dropped from the list of the cabinet, uh, captain's cabinet and even Rahul Gandhi was the one who put pressure on Rana Gurjeet to file the resignation as a cab uh, cabinet minister and now again he was inducted to cabinet minister. Six MLAs were revolting. Certain kind of, uh, uh, certain kind of criticism within the party regarding this new cabinet. Five ministers dropped seven new faces and even one uh, name was again replaced, Randeep Singh Nabha who again raised the question that his young uh, MLAs, his, their, his juniors were inducted and uh, uh, inducted as a cabinet minister and his name was still out. And again, his name was replaced at the 11th hour. Kuljeet yes. Singh Nagra, working president of PPCC, his name was at the uh, also dropped at the 11th hour. This all is happening since morning. Since a raw list was rolled out by the Congress party without any official confirmation, there are certain kind of criticism. And in fact, one MLA writing to Sonia Gandhi that kindly uh, avoid those faces who are ho already holding the uh, PPCC uh, designations, they should not get the cabinet ministry just because they, they, are, uh, they are getting the benefit from all the side, from the party or organizational structure as well and even from the government as well. So this is all happening and Sanika, the most important point is this is not going to die down at this point in time. Yes. Uh, after uh, oath of Chief Minister uh, Charanjit Singh Chenni with two deputy ministers, now 15 ministers will take oath and it is just 
underway and in fact now congress is expecting that in entire internal tussle will die down after this but this is not going to happen now it will escalate it will swell in a different manner on the other side the ministers who were completely ignored the ministers who were dropped from the list they are now looking the captain's support so this is how the scenario is turning up the high command is completely blind while distributing the ministry just because they have not uh, doped out the uh, capability of the mlas who can handle what they have blindly distributed uh, the ministries by the recommendation of navjot singh siddhu as well as charanjit singh sandhi this is all happening in the punjab congress rahul gandhi is distributing the ministries in punjab he know nothing about the mlas capability Amandeep, and in fact and whatever had recommended from the side of the chenni who tried to satisfy yes yes sanika Amandeep and as you continue to get us the details of the cabinet expansion and the inside details we also have we also know that there was a lot of drama that uh, that happened a short while back when we had one of the ministers who was been dropped from the cabinet who literally broke down and said that I was a congress loyalist I don't know why I am being uh, shunted out of this cabinet so we listen in to that reaction as well and the interviews that you've done with the congress rebels who are speaking out against the decision of the congress to change the ministers ਹਾਈ ਕਮਾਂਡ ਨੂੰ ਮੇਰਾ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਮੇਰੇ ਗੱਲ ਦਾ ਇਨਸਾਫ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਜਾਵੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਨਹੀਂ ਗੱਲ ਮੈਂ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਮਿਨਿਸਟਰੀ 100 ਵਾਰੀ ਵਾਰ ਦੂਗਾ ਮੈਂ ਪਰ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਜਲੀਲ ਕਰਕੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਕੱਢਣ ਦੀ ਜ਼ਰੂਰਤ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਕਹਿਣ ਦੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਰਿਜਾਇਰ ਕਰੋ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਰਿਜਾਇਰ ਕਰ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਵੀ ਸਾਡਾ ਕਸੂਰ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਬਸ ਮੈਂ ਕਹਦਾ ਮੈਂ ਲੈਟਰ ਜੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਾਇਆ ਪਰ ਲੈਟਰ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਨਹੀਂ ਦਿਆਂਗਾ ਮੈਂ ਹਾਈ ਕਮਾਂਡ ਲੈਟਰ ਕੀ ਕੁਝ ਕੰਟੈਂਟ ਹੈ ਲੈਟਰ ਕਾ ਉਹਦੇ ਲੈਟਰ ਮੈਂ ਜੇ ਹੀ ਹੈ ਜੋ ਜੋ ਮੈਂ ਆਪਣਾ ਮੇਰੇ ਜੋ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਇਹੀ ਮੈਂ ਲੈਟਰ ਕਾ ਸੋਨੀਆ ਗਾਂਧੀ ਜੀ ਕੋ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਹੈ ਲਿਖਾ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ ਸੋਨੀਆ ਜੀ ਕੋ ਵੀ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਹੈ ਰਾਹੁਲ ਕੋ ਵੀ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਹੈ ਪ੍ਰਿੰਕਾ ਕੋ ਵੀ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਬੇਨੂ ਗੋਪਾਲ ਜੀ ਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਕੋ ਵੀ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਹੈ राणा गुरजीत there is a there is a massive blot on his career and that's why captain amrinder singh had removed him in january 2018 that blot continues to be there he has neither got a clean chit from the court he has neither got a clean chit from the government the 25 crore rupees that was given as earnest money into the uh, mining auction uh, uh, through his front company the benami company messrs rajbir and uh, enterprises that 25 crore rupees stands forfeited by the government so where is the uh, where is the case of getting a clean chit and how come somebody is becoming a minister having such a huge allegations against him and secondly he is also this messrs rajbir enterprises which is his uh, benami firm that that company had taken 5 crore rupees uh, gratification through a bank entry by gurinder singh papa this man is accused of 2000 crores irrigation scandal and is behind the bars at the moment and rana gurjeet was the irrigation minister vigilance bureau had raided the irrigation department and caught this man and rana gurjeet had taken 5 crore rupees from this man apart from this ed which has seized the money enforcement directorate is also investigating the entire thing so what happens is that during an election time if you nominate such a person to the position it is bound that it gives a major handle to the opposition it gives a major handle to the uh, media to go after this person and ultimately the stock of the party goes down in this case what's happening rana gurjeet may gain a little temporarily but you know ultimately the loser is the congress party and it's a it it is it is very severely re reflecting upon the chief minister of punjab that what kind of people is the party selecting as ministers